हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू अ स्किल डेवलपमेंट वी विल डिस्कस डिजॉल्व्ड ऑक्सीजन एंड इट्स एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिटरमिनेशन डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ डिजॉल्व्ड ऑक्सीजन द डीओ वैल्यू that is the dissolved oxygen value of a given sample of water can be determined by winkler method let us see the principle involved in winkler's method for the determination of do value of given sample of water when manganese hydroxide that is MnOH2 is precipitated in a completely filled glass stopper sample of water it combines with it combines rapidly with the dissolved oxygen of water forming a mixture of higher oxides containing mainly MnO OH hole two, that is basic manganic oxide. Let us see it again. When MnOH hole two is precipitated in a completely filled glass stopper sample of water, MnOH hole two combines immediately with the dissolved oxygen of water, forming a mixture of higher oxides which consist mainly of mno oh hole 2 which is known as basic manganic oxide the latter that is mno oh hole 2 on acidification in the presence of iodide ion releases iodine quantitatively which can be titrated against a standard hypo solution using a starch solution as indicator when mno oh hole 2 which is formed by the reaction between mno oh hole 2 and dissolved oxygen is acidified in the presence of iodide ion I2 is released quantitatively and this I2 can be titrated against a standard hypo solution using a starch solution as indicator. Let us see which types of chemicals will be required in Winkler method for the determination of DO value of water sample. First of all, we will require MnSO4 solution. For the preparation of this solution, 48 gram MnSO4 4H2O is dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made 100 ml. Thereafter, the, same, the second chemical required is conch H2SO4. The third one is alkaline iodide solution. For its preparation, 70 gram KOH and 15 gram KI are dissolved in distilled water to make the volume 100 ml. 70 gram KOH and 15 gram KI are dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made 100 ml. The fourth one is a starch indicator. This indicator is prepared by adding 0.5 gram of starch in 100 ml boiling water. And the last one is hypo solution. 24.82 gram Na2S2O3 5H2O that is sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate is dissolved in pre-boiled water 
प्री बॉइल डिस्टिल वाटर टू मेक द वॉल्यूम थाउजेंड एम एल एंड दस वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट वन एन हाइपो सोल्यूशन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एसी नॉर्मल हाइपो सोल्यूशन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट एट टू ग्राम हाइपो इज डिजॉल्व इन प्री बॉइल डिस्टिल वाटर एंड द वॉल्यूम इज मेड थाउजेंड एम एल दिस वाटर मस्ट बी बॉइल्ड सो दैट इट्स डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन कम्स आउट वन पीलेट ऑफ एन एच एच इज एडेड टू दिस सोल्यूशन एज ए स्टेबिलाईजर देन इट्स टू फिफ्टी एम एल इज डायलूटेड टू थाउजेंड एम एल टू फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन एन नॉर्मल हाइपो सोल्यूशन इज डायलूटेड टू थाउजेंड एम एल एंड दस वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एन हाइपो सोल्यूशन दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड हाइपो सोल्यूशन एंड नाउ लेटर सी एपरेटस रिक्वायर्ड इन विंकलर मेथड दिस इज बीओडी बॉटल बायोलॉजिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड बॉटल विथ कैपेसिटी थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल ब्यूरेट एंड स्टैंड विथ कॉनिकल फ्लास्क दीज थ्री एपरेटस आर इसेंशियल ड्यूरिंग एनी टाइटेशन प्रोसेस ब्यूरेट अ स्टैंड एंड कोनिकल फ्लास्क देयर आफ्टर वी विल रिक्वायर पीपेट ऑफ डिफरेंट साइज दिस इज ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल एंड दिस इज माइक्रो पीपेट एंड फाइनली कोनिकल फ्लास्क विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू ट्रांसफर हाइपो सोल्यूशन इन द ब्यूरेट chemical reactions involved in winkler method for the determination of dissolved oxygen first of all magnes sulfate reacts with koh forming mnoh o2 which is precipitated as solid then mn OH O2 that is magnes hydroxide combines rapidly with dissolved oxygen forming MnO OH O2 which is magnetic basic oxide the oxidation number of manganese in magnes hydroxide is plus 2 while the oxidation number of manganese in this compound mno oh hold to each plus 4 when basic manganic oxide that is magnetic basic oxide is acidified by kong sulfuric acid it transforms into manganic sulfate mnso4 hold to and mn SO4 hold to is an oxidizing agent it oxidizes iodide ion to i2 and i2 released in this way can be titrated against a standard hypo solution sodium thiosulfate sodium thiosulfate is a reducing agent it reduces i2 to i minus ion and itself is oxidized to sodium tetrathionate during this process the oxidation number of sulfur increases from plus 2 to plus 2.5 while the oxidation number of iodine decreases from 0 to minus 1 these are the chemical reactions involved in winkler method now let us see the procedure we take 300 ml water sample in a 300 ml bod bottle carefully gently so that atmospheric oxygen may not dissolve in 
the water sample during its transfer to the VOD bottle. Then we add 2 ml manganese sulfate solution to BOD bottle followed by 2 ml alkaline iodide solution to fix DO. First of all, we take 300 ml water sample. In 300 ml, BOD flask carefully, gently, without much disturbance. Then we add 2 ml MnSO4 solution to this water sample and thereafter 2 ml alkaline iodide solution is added to it. MnSO4 reacts with alkali forming MnOH whole 2 and MnOH whole 2 combines rapidly with dissolved oxygen forming manganic basic oxide MnOOH whole 2. We close the bottle tightly and shake it well for 30 seconds. Thereafter, 2 ml conch as to support is added to the BOD bottle and the bottle is second well to get a clear solution A. Clear solution A is obtained by shaking the content of BOD bottle with 2 ml conch as to support. Then we take 102 ml of the sample solution in a conical flask and it is titrated against a standard 0.025N hypo solution prepared earlier until a straw yellow color appears and this situation is represented by B. Thereafter, we take 102 ml of the sample solution from the BOD bottle and take it in a conical flask. It is titrated against, against 0.25N hypo solution until a straw yellow color appears and this situation is represented by B. Now we add 2 ml of a starch indicator solution to the conical flask and as a result blue color develops and it has been represented by C. We continue the titration with hypo solution to first disappearance of the blue color and this situation has been represented by D. These are the various steps involved in Winkler method for the determination of dissolved oxygen. Flow sheet diagram of the processes discussed earlier has been shown below. 300 ml water sample is taken in BOD bottle. Then we add 2 ml magnus sulfate solution followed by 2 ml alkaline iodide solution to the BOD bottle. Brown color turbid solution appears. As a result of addition of these two chemicals to the BOD bottle. Then we add 2 ml conch sulfuric acid to the BOD bottle and second well and thus we get clear brown solution. 102 ml of this clear brown solution of the BOD bottle is taken. 102 ml of this clear brown solution is taken in a conical flask and it is titrated against 0.025N hypo solution until 
the color of content of conical flask becomes a straw yellow. Thereafter, we add 2 ml starch indicator to the conical flask. And on adding a starch solution to the conical flask, a starch combines with I2 forming a blue colored species. The titration with the titration against 0.025N hypo solution is continued until the color of the content of conical flask becomes colorless. Color of conical flask content at various stages are given here. After addition of alkaline iodide solution, this is turbid brown color precipitate is obtained and after addition of conch to support this precipitate dissolves forming a brown colored solution and it is 102 ml is titrated against hypo solution and when the color of solution of the conical flask becomes a straw yellow color, we add 2 ml starch indicator to it and after addition of a starch solution, the color of solution becomes blue. And at the end point of the titration, the color of the content of conical flask should be colorless. These are four different stages during the titration in Winkler method. Now let us see the calculations. These chemical equations have been discussed earlier. Two moles of magnus hydroxide combined with one mole of O2 forming two mole of basic magnetic oxide and 2 mole of basic magnetic oxide transforms into 2 moles of magnetic sulfate and 2 moles of magnetic sulfate release 2 moles of I2 and 2 moles of I2 combines with 4 moles of hypo and on this basis we can calculate the dissolved oxygen. One mole of O2 is equivalent to two mole of iodine. And two mole of iodine combines with four moles of hypo. That is one mole O2 is equivalent to four mole hypo. And one mole of sodium thiosulfate is equal to its 1 gram equivalent and therefore 4 mole of hypo will be equal to 4 gram equivalent hypo and 4 gram equivalent hypo that is Na2H2O3 5H2O is present in 4000 ml normal hypo solution. It means 4000 ml normal hypo solution is equivalent to 1 mole O2 that is 32 gram oxygen and therefore 1 ml hypo solution will be equivalent to 32 divided by 4000 that is 0 0.008 gram oxygen. The tighter value of 0. 025N hypo solution for 100 ml water sample is equal to VML. Since 100 ml water sample is equivalent to VML 0.025N hypo solution and therefore 1000 ml water sample will be equivalent to VML 
0.025 n multiplied by 10. The volume has increased 10 times and therefore the volume of hypo solution will also increase by 10 times. 1000 ml water sample will be equivalent to V ml 0.025 n into 10 ml hypo solution and on simplifying it we get V multiplied by 0.25 ml n hypo solution and we have already seen that 1 ml normal hypo solution is equal to 0.008 gram oxygen and therefore this volume of hypo solution will be equivalent to V into 0.25 into 0.008 gram oxygen and this on multiplying we have V multiplied by 0 into 0, 0 0.002 gram oxygen. V multiplied by 0 0.002 gram oxygen and 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram and therefore this is equivalent to V multiplied by 2 that is 2V. If we convert 0.002 gram into milligram, we have 2 milligram, 2V milligram oxygen. It means DO value, this amount of oxygen that is 2V milligram of oxygen is present in 1000 ml water sample. It means DO value is equal to volume of this is the volume of 0.025 N hypo solution into 2 milligram per liter. This is the ready-made formula for the calculation of DO value. DO value is equal to 2 V milligram oxygen per liter where V is the volume of 0.025 N hypo solution. Please remember that we have taken 300 ml water sample, 2 ml alkaline iodide solution and 2 ml three hundred ml water sample, 2 ml magnus sulphate solution and 2 ml alkaline iodide solution. The total volume is 306 ml. And this 306 ml have been divided into three parts. And in the conical flask, we take 102 ml solution. It means this 102 ml solution taken in the conical flask from the BOD bottle contains only 100 ml of water sample. And therefore, the calculation involves 100 ml of water sample although we have taken 102 ml solution in the conical flask but it contains only 100 ml of the water sample. Thank you for watching the video with concentration and patience. Please like and share it. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time. Thank you again.